Okay, so I'm just about into position. As you can see, my second core has arrived. I've got about three hours to go. I'm going to get the majority of my forces over here on this side. I do have a second strike force ready to go up here, but I'm going to wait until I've taken this first objective and I'm starting to push over toward the second before I launch that part of the attack. So once all these units are into position and ready to go, I'm going to launch them forward. I'm trying to send some of my one and two star brigades up first. Somebody made a suggestion that was a really good one, especially about Washington, about just loading up a couple of divisions full of brand new troops with uh, 1842 uh, guns just because they're cheap and it's not a big deal to kind of throw them in there first and then use my better troops. The problem is I don't have any 1842s available. Uh, so I have to use better guns. It's just the way it is at this point. Uh, the majority of my guns are the captured ones. And I don't have a lot available to purchase of the other kind. So we're just about in a position here. We're going to go ahead and start launching these waves forward. I'm going to get them running as best I can. I'm going to give them a chance to kind of get their condition up. I'm going to move these guys up a little closer. So they're right in behind the first wave. All right, here we go. I'm not going to have them run yet. I should have brought my guns up closer. They're not really in range where they are. Obviously, there's going to be massive casualties among all these units. Oh, there's Emerson Updike, uh, Updike right there. Uh, he's actually from my hometown. Um, commanded, I believe, the 125th Ohio Infantry early in the war, which was a Ohio regiment from my area here. General Johnson, get up there. Paper collar brigades being hit by this brigade Mitchell here. Got to turn around and hit him. All right, so he's lost uh, 1,500 men. I've lost about 2,000 so honestly not too bad I'm going to 
drop these guys back so all right now here's where it gets a little tricky I need to try and make sure that these units are as organized as possible all right Meredith hold up Plenty of time left. I'm not too worried about the time. If it gets right down to it, I'll just rush right up the middle to take this objective when the time comes. But I do want to try and inflict casualties. Virginia Brigade, hold on. Nice thing is we get resupplied once we get up here because we've got this supply dump right at the top. All right, he's lost uh, 3,400 to my 3,200. Nice. All right, keeping an eye on the time. Hour and 17 to go. Plenty of time to take that other objective. Which we'll start thinking about here in just a minute. All right, the next thing is now he's going to start hurling himself at me, and I'll be in the stronger position. All right, I want to pause for just a second because now that I'm fighting on two fronts, basically, I want to make sure that I'm not missing anything and that I manage this well. Um, 
I've still got about a 34,000 man advantage on the field, which is about what I started with. So casualties are going pretty even at the moment, which is really the best I could hope for. Get my general up. Obviously, I don't think I put quite enough troops on my left side, so uh, I feel like they may have a harder time here. Hold up, Watson. Lost a lieutenant general killed. That's never a good thing. Then again, I have a lot of them. This is one of those battles that's just an inevitable bloodbath pretty much no matter what you do. Lost a major general killed. Another one wounded. These are generals I will not get back because the next battle is the last battle. All right, 40 minutes to go. I'm not exactly sure why Sems is marching sideways into the enemy. We're starting to overrun the position over here. He's shifting some of his units from the other side to here, thinking he can make his stand on this side. Not going to help, my friend. Not going to help. Half hour to go. Probably should have been bringing my guns up sooner so they could support the attack a little better because some of them are out of range. I've just been kind of cautious about losing them. Okay, both objectives now secured.
And I got a brigade behind me over here. Alright, so he's, he's going to inflict more... I'm definitely going to lose more men than he did in this fight. But I expected that. If you look at these fortifications, how could you expect any less? I'm definitely going to end this one as soon as I can. If it gives me the choice. Because I don't want this to go on any longer than it has to. Yes, please. Alright, so. Let's take a look at this. Yeah, pretty close casualties, but I expected I'd probably lose a few more. When you figure in what he lost among his artillery, it actually evens things out pretty much the same. So I'll definitely take that, assaulting a fortified position like that. Grab some guns, that'll be helpful. Uh, the, the good, the, the most important thing here is that I lost 13,500 men. I get 20% of those back, so what, 2,500, 3,000, something like that. Plus, I get 21,000 uh, for this final battle. So we're going to take a look and see where things stand going into Washington. So I'm going to have 21,000 additional troops to go along with the 43, 50, 70. So I'm going to have about 90,000 men to assault Washington with. Of course, it's hard to see what he starts with. But the big problem here with Washington is you have to spread them out. There's a lot of different avenues of attack. And it's a long, long battle. But you've got to have enough left over as well to sustain the counterattack that's coming after you take the city. So uh, I've got to have at least four core for this one in order to take everything. You do not have to have a right flank, it looks like. Uh, that's kind of an optional thing. But definitely got a lot to think about as far as how I want to do this. I'm going to go back and do a little research, look at my playthrough the first time in Washington. I, I have never played through the, the counterattack because my game glitched out. And didn't allow me to do that. So um, if you have any suggestions, ideas, uh, advice for me in terms of the setup of my army. I have a pretty good idea about how to go about the strategy of taking the forts and winning the battle. Uh, but I'm not exactly sure where I want to put my troops. So uh, if you have any suggestions on that, please go ahead and let me know. I'd be more than happy to hear those things. And as always, thank you so much for being a part of this. If you would hit that thumbs up, I'd greatly appreciate it. Um, it's first of the month. I'm going to be doing shout-outs for everybody who is currently a patron on Patreon. And if you want to go ahead and check that out, uh, there's a link down below where you can sign up to be a part of that. Um, I know that's not something for everybody, but for those of you who are interested in such things, I would greatly appreciate if you would consider that. Uh, it will help me to be able to devote more time to my content. I have some videos that are going to be going up here pretty soon from my visit to uh, Washington, or not Washington, D.C., New York City. I uh, spent some time at the grave of Alexander Hamilton, as well as a place called Castle Clinton, uh, which is down in Battery Park, down on the southern tip of Manhattan. So you can be watching for those soon. I'm also going to be getting out on the road. It looks like I'm going to be spending a week in Dallas, Texas. So I'll be doing some uh, History Guy videos down there. Um, for sure going to do something, uh, some things connected to the Kennedy assassination when I get there. Uh, but we'll see what else I can come up with. So thanks for watching, and we will see you again very soon.